CEO Strauss Zelnick joins us now with what's ahead for the industry as the economy reopens. Strauss, good to have you here on Tech Check. I actually don't want to start off with app stores, given uh, some of the, uh, you know, antitrust activity happening there and some of the industry developments. We saw Microsoft in recent weeks with the Windows 11 announcement announce the capability for a sort of store within a store on Windows, which I imagine could be big for gaming companies. Uh, what's the healthiest outcome of this out, uh, app store scrutiny that we're seeing here for the gaming industry, you think? Well, I think the healthiest outcome is also the most likely outcome, which is that the cost of distribution for us will decline because there's more competition. Uh, there's obviously some lawsuits pending, some regulatory inquiries pending. And I think the effect is that the, the cost to us will decline, creating more margin. So why is it, do you think, that even though uh, Android is a bigger platform as far as smartphones, even though Google Play uh, has more downloads than iOS does, Apple's so strong in paid gaming. And what does that imply about where the gaming industry should go and what it should prioritize as it weighs in on uh, what should happen here with App Stores? Look, Apple's done a great job executing across so many areas. And I think this is just another example of the effect of that great execution. That said, the desire for interactive entertainment continues to boom. It's the fastest growing category in audiovisual entertainment. I don't expect that to change anytime soon. And, you know, we, like the rest of the industry, will want to be where the consumer is. And I think that that's how the industry will develop. I, I don't think it will be possible for any one company to aggregate or control an audience on an ongoing basis. That increase in, uh, in breadth of distribution, as I said, will, will mean that the competitive forces will push the distribution costs down. But most importantly is availability to consumers. Strauss, I'm not sure if you heard an earlier interview on the show with VC Keith Raboy. He said that there is no tech lash and that it's all made up. Consumers are happy. They're already getting the best deal. As a CEO that operates in these ecosystems, do you agree with that view? Well, all you have to do is read, it, read, read some Twitter feeds to know that consumers have plenty of complaints. And it's our job to serve consumers and to deliver more value than what we charge and as, as much as possible to make them happy. We listen to the feedback. We care about consumer feedback. Our job is to make the highest quality entertainment and to deliver it effectively wherever consumers are. That's what we try to do. When we succeed, it's because we've done that. When we fall short, it's because we haven't been able to do that. Right. And Strauss, last question for you. You partnered with Tencent in China, which is, as we've been talking about, facing some pressure amid Beijing's crackdown on tech giants. Does that make you hesitant to do other partnerships or get further involved with Tencent or other Chinese gaming companies? Not at all. We understand that in China we have to comply with the, the regulations that exist. Uh, Tencent's a highly compliant company as well. The partnership has yielded a great result. We have the number one PC sports title in China with 52 million registered users uh, for MB, NBA 2K Online. So it's been a great result, and we hope to do more business with Tencent and with other companies in China. Strauss, you at, uh, at Take Two and the gaming industry in general has a lot of data, uh, a lot of accounts, and there have been a number of security breaches lately, including ransomware attacks that are concerning for so many industries. Is the government doing enough? Um, is, is there enough coordination between private industry and government on this? W what are the solutions? I think the U.S. government is beginning to understand that, you know, private companies being held for ransom is becoming a public problem. When utilities can be attacked, um, when power grids can go down, this is no longer a small matter. I do think the U.S. government is, is trying to do more. It needs to do much more. We all have to be very vigilant. Uh, we don't take our security for granted at all. Yeah, serious problem indeed. Strauss Zelnick from Take Two, thank you.